Hey, okay, hello, 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 everyone. Okay, you all can't see the counter too well here. I don't think, I can't see it. Hi, hello, hello, hello. I'll just have to show you all everything. That one is good, this one is not. Let's see if I can bring my cutting board back a little bit. Hey, how are you, Taylor? And uh, no, Jack. Hey, Ola Joe. Good morning. So good to see you. Yes. Hey, Rebecca. So good to see you. Hey, Ricky Lynn. Hey, how are you? How are you? Welcome in. Welcome. Let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Let me see. One second, guys. One pen comment. Okay, I hope I got rid of that comment. I'm trying to get rid of it permanently, but I can't. Hey, everybody. I'm trying to see the setup. If I back up a little bit, um, I'm trying to get my cameras lined up right, and they're not quite lined up right, but I'll get it eventually where it's the perfect setting. Facebook, I have the perfect setting for you all, I think. Let me know in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you're on Facebook side and you can see me and hear me okay. Put a one in the chat on YouTube side if you can see me and hear me okay. Yes, don't forget to like the stream or uh, thumbs up the stream, guys. I really would appreciate that. Yes, awesome. So good to see you all. Hey, Victoria. Hello, Diana. Hey, hey, Felicia. Hello, Tiffany. Hey, Mr. TV and Cowboy. Hello, Don. Hey, Kathleen. I'm just speaking to everybody. Hey, Pam. Love that name. Yes. How is everybody doing? Okay, I see one's going up over there. Rebecca. Rebecca has a two in the chat. You can't see me or you can't hear me. I'm not sure. Okay. Looks like everybody can at least hear me and see me. Okay. And that's good. Good morning. I love your shorts. I swear you have shown me so many new things and I really love to keep it doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vernika. Yes. Awesome. 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 If I miss speaking to anyone or anybody, charge it to my head, not my heart. No, I'll charge it to my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> because the chats, that's why I'm leaning forward. The chats are kind of pretty far away from me. So how is everybody doing today? Um, for any of you all that are in the path of all the storms and the cold weathers, saying a prayer for you all, that you all would be safe and staying warm. I know it's cold a lot of places. It's actually pretty warm here. It's not. Thank you for those stars. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the love and the hearts going up over here as well. Yes, I so wish I could spend a wild day cooking with you in person. <laughs> yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Good morning, love you and your cooking. Thank you so much. Tennessee in the house on Facebook, see and hear you, fantastic. Hey, Mary, hello, Maureen and Lori. Les, I ordered your t-shirt, can't wait to get it. Yay, awesome, Julie, yes, let me know when you get it. Awesome. Fantastic. I shared your video on my wall. Thank you, Poe Derek. I appreciate that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Jonathan, for those stars. That's amazing. Yes. Hey, hey, Tennessee, Nikki. Hello. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? Long time no see. Thank you for coming in. Welcome in. Welcome in, Tennessee. Nikki is in the house. Hey, Barbara. How are you? Thank you for those stars. I appreciate it. Hey, Jane Doe. How are you? Welcome in. Good to see you again. Joy Ferguson is here. Dor Doretha. Is that how I say that? Dor Doretha. Doretha. I hope I said that right. Hey, Linda. How are you? Welcome. 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 Yes, DC Purple Diva. Hello, that's a member of my channel. Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming and your loyal, faithful support. Love you guys. Love you guys. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Thank you so much for those stars. Yes, I did your tea for keeping the lettuce fresh. It's day 30 and it's still, yes, isn't that amazing? And you can do celery like that. Uh, somebody asked me recently, can you do cabbage? Cabbage does not work, but I am going to do show you all what I do in another uh, video, what I do for my cabbage. And it ain't much, but it works. <laughs> yes. Awesome and amazing. Thank you so much. Yes. And Dorothy is here. Thank you, Dorothy, for sharing the video. I appreciate that. Hey, new member here from, uh, hey, new member here from New York. Oh, welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. All right. From New York City. Awesome. Yes. So today... I just have a simple little, what do you call this thing? <laughs> Baking tray. 
and we are going to make some crispy cheese snacks. They are really easy, really simple. One or two ingredients. It can technically be one because I'm going to be adding some, uh, which I don't have, but a crumb left. I need to pick up some. Uh, everything bagel seasoning to uh, my cheese snacks, but that's not happening. Hey, Richard, thank you for those stars. Thank you so much. Um, that's not necessary. Uh, and speaking of, I need to go and turn my oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'll be right back. Okay, we got to make sure our oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 204 Celsius. Nope, that's not right. Is that 204 Celsius? Okay, we're going to leave Celsius out. <laughs> and I will put the uh, ingredient <laughs> and information down in the description. I'll put the Celsius in the description as well. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if it's 400. It's, it's 204 if that's 350. So before I say it wrong, let's just leave that out. Okay, y'all? Let's leave it out. Let's leave it out. Yes. Um, hey, Crimson. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. Thank you so much, Crimson, I, for your love and support. I appreciate you, dear. Yes. Hey, Brittany. How are you? Have to go back to work in a few, but stuff. Thank you so much. The replay will be up permanently. For I know it's a lot of people at work. I have to go back to work. Yes, pay attention to work. Pay attention to work. I am so proud of you, sis. You are the big CC now. Oh, thank you, DC Purple Diva. Yay. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, once the, I'm going to actually wait until the oven heats up because this is so quick and easy. It's not much to do in preparation. And since there's not much to do in preparation, um, uh, hey, thank you so much for those stars, Luana. I appreciate you. Uh, since there's not much to do as far as preparation, I'm going to actually wait until my stove completely heats up, which won't take very long uh, to heat up. But preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Only thing we're going to be needing today is some cheddar cheese. Now, you don't have to use cheddar cheese, but a hard cheese is what you'll need to use. Soft cheeses don't really work that well. Uh, thank you for those stars, Vera. I appreciate that. Yes, Washington, Charlotte in the house. Awesome. Janice, thank you for those stars. Felicia says, thank you so much. I wish I could have seen her face. You were so kind to me. Oh, oh, yay. That's fantastic. You are so welcome, Felicia. You are so welcome. Oh, Tuxedo, new to your channel. Thank you, Tuxedo. Yay. Yes, thank you for being new to the channel. I appreciate you. Yes, I do. Thank you so much. Hey, Cheryl Farrell, how are you? Yes, Pam, uh, love all your tips and tricks. Thank you so much. Hey, Francis, how are you? And Suzanne is here. Love your food as well as your upbeat attitude. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Yes, 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 yes. Conway, Arkansas is in the house. Yes, give him a biddle. Give him a biddle from uh, Conway, Arkansas. Yes, and Kim is here. Kim Parker is watching. How long have you been cooking? The short video, the short, the short videos I have seen. Look at me. How long have I been cooking? I have literally been cooking for fifty-eight years. Fifty-eight years. I've been cooking for fifty-eight years. Um, I have been cooking for 48 years, solely alone, like in the kitchen by myself. I started cooking uh, when I was a real little bitty girl. <laughs> yeah, so I've been cooking a long, long, long time <laughs> and loving every minute of it. Loving every minute of it. Your tips have motivated me to cook again. Yeah. I love that because you know what? It's really, really not hard. Uh, cooking is not hard. It's really all about the know-how. And that's why I like doing the short videos with the tips, tricks, and hacks because sometimes you can have a recipe and you can follow the recipe even myself. That's how I learned so many of the tips, tricks, and things because I would have a recipe and I would follow that recipe to the letter. I mean, 
I got it written down. I'm in the kitchen. I got all my ingredients. And I'm going through it step by step. One, two, three. And it ain't come out right, especially baking. It didn't come out right. And I'm like, but wait, I know I can read now. Come on. <laughs> and I know I read it right. It didn't work. So throughout the years and throughout the time, I learned that most recipes that you find in cookbooks and things like that, they don't have the tips, tricks, and things. And, you know, they'll say, put it in there and stir it. Um, but stirring is different from whipping. Whipping is different from folding. And if you're baking and something says fold it in, and you don't really know what folding it is in, so you put it in there and you you just put it in there. And you don't, you don't really know what it is. It's, something's going to not work. <laughs> You know, I am also very, very heavy handed. So myself personally, um, all right, that oven's heated. Um, hey, Tisa, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm very heavy handed, very heavy handed. When I say heavy handed, I mean, I'll pick this up and go to sit it down and it'll go bang. And I'm not trying to bang. I'm really not. <laughs> And so I had to learn when I was baking my cakes. Um, I can only use an electric mixer for part of it. I must, must do the very last part by hand because I'm thinking with the mixer, oh, it's not ready yet. It's not done yet. But if I'm doing it with my own hand, then I can see what I'm doing, and I can control it. But it takes a concentrated effort because I am heavy-handed. Yes, facts on baking. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Rhonda says, I've learned it's all about seasoning, too. You can change. Them. Yes, you can. And that's another thing. When I do these tips, tricks, and hacks, I know, one, they're not for everybody, okay? Everybody's not going to like everything. And some people are going to know some things. But most everything, you can switch it out. I'm trying to get your mind going. I'm trying to get the wheels turning. I'm trying to get you guys thinking of things you can do and, and what you can do. Like recently I put up a, a short about uh, using canned icing and things you can do to make it better. A lot of people said, if I'm going to do all that, then I might as well make it from scratch. And that's true. But it wasn't for you to do all of them. <laughs> it was for you to do maybe one or two to just make it a little better. You know, like maybe whip it before you don't just take it out the can and spread it on the cake, put it in a bowl and whip it, make it fluffier. Just that one thing. That's all. <laughs> I didn't mean for everybody to do everything on there. Change it up. I mentioned a few things that you can add to it. Well, you add what you like, you know, add what you like. Just just switch it up and make it different. Yes. I love your channel. Explain things. So, so I try. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome, Allie. Yes. OK, so. The only thing I need is this baking tray. You can use any baking tray you want. You can use any size you want or anything else. You will need some parchment paper. And guys, look, somebody, <laughs> I did a video and I used wax paper for the video, which was what I was supposed to use. I was supposed to use wax paper, not parchment paper. And they actually said that I followed you. I loved all the videos until you call parchment paper wax paper. <laughs> I had to go back and let them know. Nope. Go back and look. The box was blue and that was wax paper. And that is exactly what I meant to. But they actually unfollowed me because they thought I used wax paper or I said wax paper. I called parchment paper wax paper. So I just want to say, people, I am human. I may make a mistake like that. So if I do, please forgive me. I am human. And sometimes even in my editing, I don't catch it. So <laughs> that was funny. I mean, they had followed me, but I'm like, okay, well, I can't help that. So <laughs> but I just thought it was funny. I'm like, okay, well, I made a mistake. Oh, sorry. You know, okay, that's enough. Okay. Uh, am I allowed to cook with you? Yes. Please, if you want anybody that wants to do this with me, if you want to cook this with me right now, right now, you can because the ingredients are that simple. If you want to cook with me right now, please put a five in the chat 
and I will tell you what you need to grab right quick, and I'll wait for you to grab it so we can do this together. So if you anybody that wants to do this with me right now, right now, put a five in the chat. I'll wait till I see any fives in the chat. Okay, I got one five. All right, I got one five on the YouTube side. Yes, some people just, too, they are, they are, Jana, they are. Yes, okay, I can get more fives over here. Yay, awesome, 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 awesome. Hey, Psalms 146, haven't seen you uh, for a while. We're making crispy cheese snacks. They're real simple, real easy. And I just told everybody if they wanted to do it with me, put a five in the chat. At Facebook too, if you guys want to do it with me right now, put a five in the chat. Anybody that wants to do it with me. I got a lot of fives over here, over here on the YouTube side. All right. Yay. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Love using parchment paper. Yes. Okay. I'm getting fives over here on the Facebook side. Awesome. Yes. All right. We're getting more fives. We got a lot of fives. This is going to be fun, y'all. Yes. This is going to be amazing. Mm. Okay. I naturally, lo I love your neck. Thank you. Thank you, naturally me. Okay, so three things you need to get. Just three. A baking dish. Any, any size, any kind. Simple baking dish. A cheddar cheese. Shredded cheddar cheese. If you don't have shredded, grab a knife so you can chop it up. Shredded cheddar cheese or a shredded hard cheese. Not mozzarella. That's not hard. A hard cheese. Parmesan is a hard cheese. Cheddar cheese. Grab your cheddar cheese. If you if you have slices, you can grab that and you just chop it up until you get shreds. Shred it. Shred it yourself. Just chop it up. So grab that. Grab some parchment paper. I am going to use some um, everything but the bagel seasoning. You can grab a seasoning if you want. You don't have to. I don't always use this. I'm just doing it today. You don't have to put, you don't need anything. These are amazing just as they are. So if you don't have a seasoning you want to put on there, you're only going to sprinkle a, a drop on there anyway because it'll overpower whatever seasoning. So as you all go and get them, once you get them, put a three in the stream. Once you, once you guys gather them, once I see a lot of threes, then we'll go on and we'll go ahead and make it. So go grab your stuff. You need a baking tray. Shredded cheddar cheese or a hard cheese and parchment paper, not wax paper. <laughs> Thank you for those stars. Yes. Okay, Janice got her stuff. Girl, you, you got your stuff. Who else? Let me see. All right. I got them. Okay. Someone you don't know got them. All right. Y'all got those stuff. Quick. Y'all must be in the kitchen already. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Look at all the threes coming up. Y'all got your stuff real quick and in a hurry. Yes. Can I use a broiler pan bomb? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Katie, okay, we're getting the threes over here on the Facebook side. They grabbed their stuff already. Awesome. This is amazing. I love this. I'm so glad you asked me that. Could y'all do it with me right now? That's fantastic. Yes, you can do it with me. All right. Woohoo. Yes, love everything but the bagel seasoning. I yes, I love it too. And I don't know, I haven't been using it that much, guys. I got a corner in here. Hubby been after this, I bet. Somebody been after. I gotta put this on my list. If I didn't make this today, I wouldn't have even known that I didn't have any. So I threw out my parchment paper a few months ago because it made my cookies taste strange. Can I use nonstick spray instead of the paper? No, you don't need to use nonstick spray. Uh, do you have foil? You can use foil, but the reason you don't want to use nonstick spray, if you have a nonstick pan or skillet that can go in the oven, that would be better. The reason I say you don't want to use a nonstick spray is because cheese is oily. Now, taking that into consideration, you can use it, but it may be a little bit more greasier than it should be. How about that? But yeah, you you can if that's all you have, you can absolutely use it. Um, but it may be a little bit more greasier than anticipated. So, <laughs> because the cheese is greasy, period. No way around that. Uh, hey, Swap Picker, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why the bait your cookies taste funny. That's weird. 
Thank you. Help me feel like I'm cooking with my mom. And have, oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Oh, could they use a... Yes. If you have a, uh, a, a sill pack. Yes. A silicone mat. Absolutely. A silicone mat. If you have that, Psalms 146. Anybody that has a silicone mat, you can use a silicone mat. Yes, yes, yes. I don't even own a silicone mat, so I don't think of them anytime. You know, that's something I said I was going to get. I need, I wanted to get silicone mats, and I also wanted to get the, um, like, silicone, um, or what do you call them? Just baking dishes, like the um, fluted, uh, oh, what do you call Bunt pan. The bunt pan, like silicone bunt pan and silicone cupcake holders. That's on my to-do list. I, that's on my that's on my list to get something. Yes. Um, yes, indeed. Hey, Wendy. Thank you so much. Okay. I think enough people have gotten their threes going on. Okay. So take your parchment paper and tear you off of piece to go on top of your tray, whatever your tray is. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be fitted anything. Just get it on, just get it on the tray, okay? Just get it on the tray. Now, if you're making a whole tray full, you want to cover your tray. I'm just gonna make a few myself, about four or five. Um, so just whatever you're gonna make. Thank you. You look really pretty. Thank you, thank you, June. I appreciate that. Okay, so. Turn off my parchment paper and fold it under my edges because it's slightly too big for my tray. Okay, that's it. See, I put my parchment paper on there. That's it. That's it. Nothing fancy. It's on here. That's what you need, okay? I don't have any oil or anything on here. I just folded my edges under, uh, put the curved side down, and we're done. Okay. My silicone butt pan would fold in going in out of... Oh, really? I threw it out. Wow. I've never used them before, uh... Uh, Tom's uh, Tom's daughter. I've never used them before, and I was just wanting them to try them out. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, so once you get your parchment paper down on the tray, put a two in the chat. Put a two in the chat. If your cheese is not open, open your cheese. Make sure your hands are clean. If you don't want to use your hands, get some kind of scoop or spoon or something. That didn't open. Okay, we got twos. Y'all cooking fast. Y'all good. All right. Okay. So I don't I don't know if the YouTube side can see this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my cup, <laughs> put my cup on my cutting board. Y'all don't need to do this. I'm doing this so y'all can see. I'm gonna sit my tray on top of my cup dangerous, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> it's nothing hot, so I can't do nothing but make the cheese go all over the place, but I just want the, everybody to be able to see it <laughs> while I'm doing it, since we're doing this together. Okay, so now, hey, guys, can trust you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes. Okay, so gadgets. We got to, you know, we got, you got to do what you got to do, okay? <laughs> all right, so take your cheese and take a, a nice little amount, little nice little amount, little handful and just put it on the tray. Now I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to pick it up and show it to you closer so that you can see what it looks like. It needs to be separated. They do not need to touch. You can make these as big or as small as you like. One more. Okay. When you put them on a tray, if they don't, if they go all over the place, make them into like a circle or a square, a triangle or whatever shape you want. I'm telling you, most of the stuff I do is customizable. And I'm going to show this to you up close so that you can see what your tray should look like in just a second. I am just spreading these out a little bit. It's okay. You want to spread them out some because that way they will cook a little quicker. 
Okay. So I can't tilt it much because they'll fall over the place. But can you see that? Tilting, tilting, tilting gently. This is what your, your tray should look like with however many you have on your tray. So look, I've never seen someone else with the same spelling as my name. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Hey, Mexi Mexico. Mexicano frog. Hey, how are you? Hey, Megan. Welcome, 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 guys. Awesome. Can I use my mozzarella is not going to set up in the end. It will melt and that is all it will do. It's too melty. You need a hard cheese. 400 degrees on that oven. Someone just asked 350, 400, 400. Preheat my oven to 350. Is that okay? 400. Need to heat it to 400. Now, if you if you have an oven or something, for whatever reason, it's not going to go to 400. You can heat it on 350. It's going to take longer. Okay? It's going to take longer. What are we making? Crispy cheese snacks. Yes. I'm glad I caught this. Me too, DC Purple. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Can I do this in the air fryer oven at 400? Be the same as a regular oven. Um. Yes, you can. I, I, I have not. Blah, 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 blah. I've never done it in the air fryer, but I don't see why not. That's why I was stumbling a little bit because I was thinking, and I can't think of a reason why you can't. <laughs> I am not a fan of the air fryer. I do it, use it every now and then, but I'm not a fan of it, so I don't use it. Okay, so. Once you get it like this, if you are using a seasoning, shake a little bit on each one. Just a little bit. You don't want it to overpower. And you don't have to use a seasoning. I'm going to show you again. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the seasoning in here while it's on here, but we'll see. I know you can see it on the paper. I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can see the seasoning on there. Now, yeah, you can see it. I can see it. Whoa. You don't want to do that. Okay. So that's what it should look like. Once you have it like that, when everybody gets their tray completed and it's completed and you're done with your seasoning, your cheese and everything, put a seven in the chat. Put a seven in the chat. So that I will know you, you, it's all done and ready to go. Yes, yes. Hey, green. Oh, yeah. Hey, green balance three. Oh, it's going to be okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we got a bunch of sevens going up over here on the YouTube side. Sevens, are you guys ready on the Facebook side? Or are you ready on the Facebook side? Thank you, Christina. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Put a seven in the chat on the Facebook side if you guys have completed everything up to this point a seven a seven beth put a one in you you must be lagging on the uh your your stream must be lagging okay i'm getting some sevens coming up on the facebook side now all right bunch of sevens over here on the uh youtube side you guys are quick yay yes absolutely amazing you can also use thin deli sliced cheese. We use those to roll up sandwich fixing. Yes, 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 you can. It's better if it's um just for the look of these and the end result. It's easier if you have shredded. So whenever I have the deli like slices, I still chop mine up. But it's the hard cheese is what counts more than the shape of it. Okay, so everybody that is at this point now, if your oven is preheated, Put it in your oven now. Put it in on the middle shelf. Okay, so everyone's oven is different. Let me turn my light on. Okay. Everyone's oven is different. So your oven may take 10 minutes. Somebody else's oven may take seven. Someone else's oven may take 15 minutes. What you want to look for is for your cheese to be melted and slightly, 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 <laughs> just a little bit browning on the outer edges. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a toaster. Okay. 
Okay. Hey, Jill's Comfort Zone, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Just slightly brown on the edge, okay? We don't want it too brown, okay? Then, once it gets like that, we're going to take it out of the oven. And at that point, it is absolutely 100% crucial that you let it cool completely. Now, how long that's going to take is going to probably depend on your house and how cool it is in your house and whatever. Um, the longer they cool, the longer you let them cool, the crispier they will be. And let me tell you, they are crispy to the point where they snap like a cracker. What snap? They just snap. They are so delicious. These are also keto friendly, low carb friendly, all of that. Frankly, it is actually a cheese crisp is what they call it, what keto people call it. Yes, 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 yes. I am working and listening. Okay, from the bushes. All right, Jill, thank you so much. Fantastic. Hey, Peyton, thank you all so much for all those stars on Facebook. Y'all just sending up all them stars. I appreciate you for the stars. Thank you. And I see the hearts going up and the thumbs going up. Thank you. Don't forget to like the stream. I see I got 206 people watching on the Facebook side and 131 thumbs up. Where y'all thumbs at, people? <laughs> yes. Awesome and amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, can you use Colby Jack? That should work. It's a little softer, but it should work. Uh, give it a try. You may have to let it cool a little bit longer. All these cheeses will melt. It's um, the fact that when they cool down, if it's not a hard cheese, it doesn't come out as crispy. So if you use Colby Jack or another another cheese and you waited 20, 30 minutes and it's still not crispy, it's the cheese. OK, so if you want to do it and you want to get super crispy, it is the type of cheese you're using. Nothing else that you're doing. OK, the hearts are us on YouTube. You got that feature. Oh, OK. I've never seen. Well, I guess I can't see it on my side. I've never seen it before. I've never seen it before. Yay. And I see the I see the hearts on the Facebook side. I've seen those before, but I've never seen them on the actual YouTube side. Yes. Can you use a blend of? Yes, 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 you can. Absolutely. Tidbits. You. That's another thing. You can use a um blend of different hard cheeses, but hard cheeses, any kind of whatever hard cheese you got is it works. Uh, it works. Yes, 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 yes. And then next week, mine is bubbling up. Let me go look. Okay. I'm going to turn mine around. I know y'all can't see me, but I'm going to turn my tray around because my oven cooks on even most of the time. So I'm going to turn my tray around and I'm leave them in here. I'm going to turn, I turned my tray around. <clears throat> Excuse me. I turned my tray around. I'm going to leave them in there for maybe another minute and mine are done. So you see how quick that was. But like I said, I don't think I should have turned the timer on just to be able to tell you all that wasn't, I don't think that was five minutes. Might have been seven. Not very long. Oven doesn't take very long at all. Uh, can we store them? And if so, for how long? I have stored these uh, for about a week in an airtight container, uh, but they must be absolutely cool. So if you're going to store them like that, I would leave them out on my counter for at least at least half a day until they just you can take a piece and crunch it. I mean, really break it. And, you know, uh, just got to say again, congrats, Pam. So proud of you. You when you made oh when you made the Fox World new thank you thank you so much I appreciate that yes I was on Fox World News and that was a blessing and I know a lot of people looked at it and they saw the negativityness in it that came from the actual news station talking about it but you have to look at the big picture that pic that uh, Fox News clip was picked up from TikTok. and it was picked up on January twenty fourth and at January twenty fourth I was right around. Oh, 2025 followers on TikTok. I'm over 85,000 followers now. All those people came drove in because they went to look. So there's a blessing in everything. So when you see something negative, there's always a positive. So when you see something that may not be quite right and devil's in the mix, God's in the mix too. 
And so whatever you may think that they did, I don't worry about that. That's free publicity. I, w I gained 60,000 followers and I don't know how many other followers I gained across all the other platforms. Let me go get my cheese out. Okay, so Why I got this all crooked. See how that looks? See how it's browned around the edges and not on the inside? Now, um, you can take it up now. Like get a spatula or something, take it up now, and you can eat it. But it's going to feel like it's kind of stuck. It's a little hard on the edges. See how it's pulling up? Because it's not cool yet. So I'm going to let mine cool, y'all, okay? I hope it cools. I hope it cools enough while we're still on live so I can taste it. I'm going to have to move this up a little bit because I'm going to touch it. Touch the pan. It's not going to cool yet. Move this up just a little bit. There we go. Yes. Why was Pam on Fox News? Uh, why was Pam on Fox News? I was on uh, Fox News because I did a shorts video about egg substitutes. And they were talking about the egg substitutes on the news that day and um, the problem with the prices being so high. So they ran my clip of me talking about what substitutes that could be used. And they actually made a statement about the substitute, some of the substitutes that I mentioned as being disgusting. And I was like, okay, cool. I, I didn't say they were good. <laughs> Number one, I didn't even say they were good. I didn't say they were tasty. I said, this is what you can do. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I got thick skin. It didn't bother me. I was like, okay, woohoo, Fox News. And then on top of it, not just Fox News, y'all, it was world, Fox World News. So I was happy. I was happy. But anyway, enough of that. <laughs> hey, love from New York City. The cheese snack sounds and looks good. I love cheese. We have freezing rain today here. Oh, be careful if you have to go out in that freezing rain. Yes, yes. Seven minutes was perfect timing for mine. Excellent, excellent. I don't know why I didn't think because I do it all the time. Now, I, if you like, if you take the parchment off the pan in my coop, you know what? You got a point. But, you know, these pans, see, I can pick the pan up now. These pans, because it's an aluminum pan, just like foil, it cools quicker. But you know what? I'm going to do that. You're right. I started to just put it in the freezer. I've done that too before. But I wanted to, I wanted to um, have it exactly the way it works with you guys. And as you can see, before I take it all the way out, see, it's not even soaked through or anything, but you're right. Good point. Thank you for that. I forgot who said it because it went up the chat so fast. But thank you for saying, take it off the tray. It'll cool faster. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. See? Say I need y'all too. Yes. Uh, we kind of curled them up like cheese roll up crisp roast. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. There's a couple of other actual dishes I use. I, I use um, oh, Parmesan cheese for it, grated Parmesan cheese. And there's another whole dish. And I may do that uh, next week as my regular video that I use. I use these for the dish. So and in the dish. So, yes, 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 yes. Try snowstorm for the last couple. Oh, you guys be careful. It is warm here. Uh, it's probably in the 50s here. I haven't actually checked, but just feeling it's probably in the 50s here. And um, yesterday was in the 70s. I got a chance to do a lot of gardening because it was warm outside. I was in a T-shirt like this and I was hot. So, yes, 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 yes. Be safe, everyone. I will make this. Yes, these are actually keto they're not just keto friendly. They are recommended in the keto diet. So these are keto, low carb. If you are doing that, I do pra I practice keto when I practice. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a fanatic or I'm not a diehard or I'm not really um, always doing it like I should because I don't know I like to eat. What can I say? So, but when I feel like, oh, I need to do something, it, I, keto is my go-to. Yes, looks really yummy. We'll definitely have. To. Yes, I want this to. I want at least one of them to come off of here. Oh, they. You know what they? I think. I think we're good. I'm gonna let it cool just a few more minutes. I'm gonna give it about two or three more minutes to make sure. But in feeling that, 
Um, it feels like it feels like it's it's ready. So I can I want to crack it in front of you guys so you can hear the crunch, and I want to taste it with you guys so you can hear the crunch. I love the crunch. I'm a texture person. So when it comes to food, I'm a texture person. You can give me anything in the world, and it may be delicious, and I may love it. But I don't. If I don't have something, it's either have to be spicy, super spicy. I love the heat. I love my peppers. Super spicy, or I, I gotta have that crunch. That's why I like iceberg lettuce so much. As not about the lettuce, it's about the crunch. And the rest of the lettuces don't have that crunch. And Gio says, "Yes, I love a good crunch. Me too." Mm hmm. Hey, good afternoon. Yes. Should we count it as a fat bomb for keto? Um. Yes, I just count it as part of my low carb, you know, it doesn't have many carbs in it. But yeah, I guess it could be considered a fat bomb for keto. Yes, indeed. Yes. Now, I can't do the iceberg lettuce. I like that crunch. I don't care what it tastes like. I just, you know, usually when I use iceberg lettuce, I got all my other lettuce in there. It's really in there for crunch. In Ohio, oh, Iowa snowstorm. Okay, it's 75 in Tennessee. Wow, see, that's the way it was yesterday. And I'm convinced it's really cloudy here today and it's really overcast, but I'm pretty convinced that it is. Hey, Wanda, how are you? Thanks for coming in. Uh, I am pretty sure that it is um, pretty warm outside. But yesterday I got a lot of gardening done. And speaking of gardening, you guys... Facebook. I have a gardening page. It is the Scaredy Cat Gardener. And hey, Pam, that's one of my subscribers coming in. How are you? Thank you. All right. Yay. Awesome. And on YouTube, it's the Scaredy Cat Gardener. So you guys follow me and subscribe over there. So you, I'm doing the same type of, it's just about gardening and growing your food, growing your own. Um, and I grow everything in containers. So I'm not in a big garden. I'm not in a yard where I got rows and rows and crops. Everything. And I grew on my deck for years. And now I'm in a very, 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 very small turnaround space outside. And last year I had over 50 different plants in that small space. So it's doable if any of you all are interested in gardening or garden. Yeah, 70 and rainy in Oklahoma. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Y'all ready? I'm going to try one. Y'all don't mess with y'all's yet. Y'all want y'all's to keep cooling just in case mine's not cooled enough, but I'm anxious. Okay, so I can tell just by pulling it off the paper that it needs to stay down a little bit more. It's very crispy on the edges. It has not cooled enough to be crispy, crispy in the center. I do this all the time, so that's how I know. But let's listen. Can y'all hear that? Mmm. Can y'all hear that? They are good. Even if they're not crispy, they're delicious. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me know if you all can hear the crunch. For me either breaking it or chewing it's delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Both. Y'all can hear it. Yes. Perfect. And my center, see, look, I shouldn't be able to move my center. So you all know for your own. Look at that. I shouldn't be able to do that with the center. It should crack. See, look, if I do that with the edge, I can't. It pulls off. It cracks. And that's how you know it's time. <laughs> it's good. It's set. Soft cheeses will end up like the mozzarella. You can use them. You can make them. It's not just not going to be that crispy. Soft cheeses like mozzarella and provolone, things like that. It's going to be more like this. And it may be just, it may be even a little bit more, um, what, movable, soft or something um, than this. That's what happens when, when you have a soft cheese. But when you have a hard cheese, mm, you let it cool enough, mm, 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 you got that crunch. And this everything bagel seasoning, people, 
it takes it to another level. Any seasoning problem. You know, if I didn't have the everyday bagel season, I probably would have put some thyme on there because thyme is one of my go-to seasoning. Maybe you sprinkle a little garlic powder, onion powder on there. Mm, 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 mm. But these are delicious, y'all. Hey, Ashkia, thank you. I was wondering if I missed it. No, not yet. Mm, we're still here. Mm, mm, mm. This is good, guys. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm, 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 mm. But you know what? Can you put pizza? I think I used to. Let me see if I can get that back up. Mm. I would not put sauce on there. If you're going to put something pizza on there, I would put pizza seasoning on there, a dry seasoning. If you put a sauce on there, it's not going to crisp up. If you put anything else on there, it's not going to crisp up. But I do have a recipe very similar to that that I use these crisps for. I'm going to do a video on that. That'll probably be my next, won't be the upload for this Sunday, but maybe the next Sunday after that, I'll do that as my video. And it is delicious. Wait till y'all see that one. Mm. This is so good. And I am so glad. Who was that? I know it was on the YouTube side. I saw the person. Who was that? that asked me in the chat if they could cook with me right now. Please let me know if you are still here. If you are still here, let me know. Whoever said that in the chat, let me know, let me know. I'm a rem I remember it when I see it, but I'm looking for it. Whoever that was, let me know that you were the one that said it. I know the avatar. Hey, Austin, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Good to see you. Hey, Bonnie. Or use sauce as Yes, you can use the sauce as a dipping. That's right. That's right. That would be better. God's Construction is here. Hey, Shakira. How are you? Welcome in. Thank you for coming. I stopped using aluminum foil a long time ago on these. Okay. Well, that's fine. I love my foil. But I'm pretty sure you use some all like <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not trying to be funny, but I love my foil, and I don't think anything's wrong with it. But I know a lot of people don't like it, and I don't see anything wrong with that either. Yes, it was someone you don't know. Uh, no, they haven't said. They I just can't remember. The, I can't remember who said it. So I wanted to know who said. It. If not, I will go back through my chat. I can always go back through the chat and find the person who said it. I'm just trying to avoid that. I know Austin Foyle is live. Me too. Hey, Parrish. Yes, you were kind. Thank you so much. And thank you for all those stars going up over there, guys, on Facebook. I appreciate that. Yes. I used to have a friend. Give him a, that was the tag. Give him a bit says that was the tag. What did they say? They asked me if they could cook with me, cook this with me in the chat. And I said, yes. And that's when I said, who else wanted to cook? And this was really fun. And so I wanted to know who said that. And when I find out who said it, someone you don't know. Oh, someone you don't know is their name. <laughs> you know what? I remember seeing that. Is someone you don't know here? Is, is that person still here? <laughs> Thanks, Jane. <laughs> Thanks, Jane, though. Is it mild cheddar cheese? I have sharp, but you can use any cheddar cheese. Yes. I know all the Joe is cracking up. <laughs> cracking up. The tag name was someone you don't know. I know. Is the person still in the chat? Someone you don't know or are you still here? Then say something. That's what I wanted to say. The person whose name is someone you don't know. If you are still in the chat, please let me know. My husband is not fond of pork, but I made the recipe of yours, Virginia, so he loves it. Now he, <laughs> I love it. That's funny. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. I know all the Joe cracking up at me. I know, right? Okay, they must not be here. And they must not be here. Okay. 
Yes, Olson is in the house. Kathy Jackson is here. Fantastic, fantastic. I love you. You are so sweet. Thank you. Extra sharp, sharp cheddar cheese is really good. I get the seasoning. Yes, I did too. That's the only place I've seen it. They probably have it elsewhere, but I get my seasoning at Trader Joe's, and I'm so glad that I was able to use this today to see that I don't have any more. Yes, tidbits of motivation. They're going to miss your shout out. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. They are. They are. Uh, yes, they must have made them and left. <laughs> or maybe they still in the kitchen making them. I don't know. The Godfrey's, I love your. Thank you so much. I love your cooking. Thank you, Angela. Wendy is here. Can I use? Yes, you should be able to. Yes, Wendy. First part of the cheese snack. Okay, well, the recipe. The recipe will be in the. Well, it's not really a recipe. It's only just cheese. So it's really nothing to put in the description. But I will say this: that it, the video will be up on Facebook and YouTube permanently. So anybody that did miss it can always go back and see it again. Do they taste like really close, Priscilla? Really close to tasting like cheeses. Well, that's if you use the sharp cheddar cheese. But yes, they taste a lot like cheeses. Yes, they do. Yep. And they don't have anything in it but the cheese. Well, I put the everything bagel seasoning in there. <laughs> but that's about it. I follow you on Facebook. I got the same profile pic, LOL. I'm glad to finally get... Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know, Austin. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. What is your favorite cheese for cooking? Um, I like to use cheddar cheese. I like to use Parmesan and I like to use mozzarella. I also like to use pepper jack. I like to <laughs> use provolone. I love, love, love Gouda. You know what? I like them all. It just depends on what I'm cooking. I just love cheese, period. I can just eat cheese, period. That's it. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Well, I had something special for the person who asked me that, but they are no longer here. So, okay. All right. This is fun. I need to do this more often where you guys can cook with me. I need to find small, the shorter things that you all can cook with me. And I got to figure out how to let you all know ahead of time so that you can get the ingredients and we can cook together. That would be amazing. Yes, I just have to say that the Lord is on your side because you're on his side. You've been faithful in the little now it's time. Oh, Jerusha, that, that's a blessing. Ah, yes, I accept those words. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, cheese makes everything better and butter. Yes, I think I follow on Facebook, but it's my government name over there. Okay, so I probably wouldn't know. Yes, what is the best cheese for mac and cheese, cheddar? You can use multiple cheeses, but your base cheese, the most of the cheese that you have in mac and cheese should be cheddar. Cheddar, cheddar, cheddar. You can use, I use Gouda in my, in my mac and cheese. I've used provolone in there. I've used all of them in there. I've used mozzarella in there, but my biggest and my most prominent cheese will always be cheddar. And I actually prefer the yellow cheddar over the white cheddar when it comes to mac and cheese, although the yellow cheddar, although the white cheddar is more natural than the yellow cheddar. Yes. Yes. So I want to let you guys get out of here. I am so happy that you all came. Thank you all on Facebook for all those stars, amazing stars. I appreciate you. Thank you over here on YouTube for all your faithful support for all my subscribers that are in the live over on Facebook. Thank you. Yes. And I put up a video for you all this morning or last night, last night, last night. Yes. And um, you too. Thank you all too. I used to work for factory and they used to use pigment to change the color. Yes, 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 yes. White, the white cheddar is the main one that's natural. Yes, absolutely, Austin. Yes. Don't you know we get used to this yellow cheese and we got to have it. So got to have it, got to have it. Yes. So I hope you all have an amazing day for the rest of your day. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, Fantabulous Nurse Bunny says, I enjoy your videos. Thanks for your creativeness. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. Uh, Ashika says, Pam, I love your cooking. Jody says, love watching. Thank you. Have an amazing day. You too. 
Yes. Awesome. 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 Thank you for those stars, Lisa. I appreciate that. Yes. Jill is star sender, a subscriber. Thank you so much for your lovely, loyal support, Jill. I appreciate you. Deborah is here. Brenda Sickle is here. Yes. I love mozzarella sticks. Yes, I love mozzarella sticks. I like cheese in general. It really doesn't matter what kind it is. You know what? I am not a fan of pimento cheese. That would be, if I had to take a cheese out that I didn't want, it would be pimento cheese. Now, there are some other cheeses that I'm not, I'm not a fan of goat cheese. There are some other cheeses, some strong, funky cheeses that I just can do without. Um, I do like blue cheese blue cheese, but I it's I use it sparingly because it is so funky. Um, yes. Thank you, FL, FL Milson. I hope I said that right. Yes, I love your personality and your cooking is perfect combo. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angela. I appreciate that. Yes, and Patty is here from Trinidad. Awesome. Yes, Ola Joe says, have a magnificent day. And, and my moderators, I didn't thank my moderators. Oh, my God, I'm losing my manners. <laughs> thank you all so much, moderators, because I couldn't do this without you all. You've all been dropping links. Thank you so much, Ola Joe. I appreciate you. And I know Tisa was in here. I appreciate her. Thank you so much. And I'm not sure she's still here. I saw Green Bounce 3 was here as well. Thank you to my moderators. You guys go check out my moderators because they are fantabulous. And all of you all who said that you are glad you caught me on live, you're glad I'm live and you like my lives. I could not do these lives without my moderators. So um, Ola Joe the Crocheting Sailor is my moderator, Facebook and YouTube. Tisa Renee Green, moderator, YouTube and Facebook and Green Balance 3. Those were the ones that were in here today. So absolutely visit their channels and subscribe if you like their content and you want to be a part of their family as well, because they are awesome people and they support me and they help me in more ways than you all would ever know. So with that being said, have a blessed day. Thank you all so much once again, and I'll see you soon.